A City Fit to Live In by I, Levi Tafari. She is a city fit to live in. She's in a healthy place to be. You'll never walk alone with a dose of Scouse hospitality. She is a city that is thriving. She's got a ticket to ride. She's a city unique in many ways. Liverpool on Merseyside. A royal charter was granted in 1207 and ever since that time, Liverpool has been driven. European capital city of culture in 2008, this was an invitation for the world to come and celebrate. A city steeped in history, a city known worldwide. You brought wealth and prosperity to Britannia beyond Merseyside. In the transatlantic slave trade, you played a major part. You were the main blood vessel that pumped the wealth into Britain's heart. A chapter of brutality like the world has never seen. Trading in cotton, sugar, rum, tobacco and also human beings. A maritime city, a major sea port where merchants became filthy rich from the goods they sold and bought. So the foundation was established. The merchants, they got paid. Liverpool became the pool of life. Yes, Liverpool was made. Now Liverpool is standing tall for all the world to see. A city rich in heritage and culture. The world in one city. She is a city fit to live in. She's in a healthy place to be. You'll never walk alone with a dose of Scouse hospitality. She is a city that is thriving. She's got a ticket to ride. She's a city unique in many ways. Liverpool on Merseyside. Now Scouse is an identity in name, character and culture. Scousers are known across this land for their language, their dish and their humour. Europe's oldest black community and eldest Chinese community too. The largest Irish community outside of Dublin completes the cultural stew. The 60s were a magical time when Liverpool was rocking. Our talents shone in the limelight and fame just kept on knocking. Comedian, actors and writers, we've got them by the score. An adventurous city that speaks her mind. You couldn't ask for anything more. But then the dread times came, which served to dim your flame. They say it was unemployment, militants, and the riots to blame. Then the Hillsborough disaster hit like a major heart attack. Finally, justice was served, and so the city bounced back. Now, our oh, World Heritage Site, in the company of a select few, you rose like a phoenix from the ashes because that's what Scousers do. Creativity is our forte, medicine for mind, body and soul. We have a passion that burns like fire to inspire, that's our goal. She is a city fit to live in. She's in a healthy place to be. You'll never walk alone with a dose of Scouse hospitality. She is a city that is thriving. She's got a ticket to ride. She's a city unique in many ways. Liverpool on Merseyside. We have world-renowned bands, entertainers and the sound of Mersey beat. We also have two cathedrals that adorn Hope Street. Our famous live birds, our perch on the live clocks, the Adelphi Hotel, St. George's Hall, the King and the Albert Docks. At football, we are outstanding in the way in which we play the game. Liverpool FC and Everton FC have success as their middle name. Our galleries, museums and theatres, they all take centre stage. Central Library with its technology takes the city into a brand new age. Sail the ferry across the River Mersey, check out the famous skyline, get a classical treat at the Philharmonic Hall. The experience is sublime. The Grand National, Lymph, Africa OEA, positive vibration and writing on the wall. If you feel like retail therapy, visit Liverpool One where you can do it all. A film set for LA Productions, TV dramas, movies and documentaries, The Super Lamb Banana, Shanghai Hodge, The Parks, Lipper and Universities. So I'm calling on BBC Radio Merseyside and Radio City to air a view or two 
just to say you'll never walk alone in my Liverpool home and Liverpool that's why I love you Liverpool that's why we love you thank you <laughs>